Today I want to talk to you about figuring out what is your next step in your Amazon FBA business. You know, there's so many books out there, blogs, YouTube videos, YouTube channels, there's conferences, there's Facebook groups, there's so many things out there giving out amazing ideas of what to do in your Amazon business to be successful, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. I know just yesterday, my wife and I got back in town. We traveled to Nashville, Tennessee for the CES conference, and it was just, you know, speaker after speaker with awesome ideas, different strategies from, you know, everything from Amazon related to um, other online businesses to helping people in brick and mortar stores get online. There's so many different ideas out there, but sometimes it can be overwhelming. I mean, also you can go to a bookstore and go look for ideas for your business and you can see so many different books. How do you know what book to decide to buy? How do you know who to follow? How do you know what to do next? There's so much stuff out there. There's free information. There's paid information. What's worth paying for? What's worth investing your time in? So today I want to talk to you about five things that can help you figure out what to do next in your Amazon FBA business. The first one, the first thing to think about is time. What is your time worth to you? Now, if you have a whole lot of time available on your hands, then it's possible that you have a lot of free time to go hang out you know, on YouTube, on blogs, reading through a bunch of things and trying to figure out you know, who's good, who's quality, who's worth listening to, who's uh, getting results and, and, and those type of things. And so you can, if you, have the, if you have the time available for that, then I highly recommend there's so much free stuff out there. But if time is uh, rare for you, free time is rare for you, time to work on your business, then I really suggest looking into paid courses or, or books that can help you walk you through from start to finish, kind of the A to Z approach that can help you. All the stuff that you have, the information that you're wanting is all in one location. And it's worth it to spend money on something where you have everything explained to you. So think about that. What is your time worth to you? And, you know, if, if, if it's rare, if, you're, if time to spend to invest in your business is rare, I really suggest a paid course. So that brings me to my next question. So what's, what's worth, what's actually worth getting? How do you know if something's worth paying for? So the first thing to think about was time. The second thing was, is the quality of the information. Obviously, anybody can put a YouTube video together. Anybody can put a blog together. I mean, I'm proof. I'm anybody. I can put a blog together, a YouTube video together. How do you know if the information is quality? How do you know if it's worth actually listening to? Well, one of the things that you can do is to watch a video, read a blog, and immediately put it into action. And if you're able to see results, you know that that is quality. Uh, you know, if, if you're thinking of looking into someone's paid information, Check out all their free stuff first, their free videos, their free blog posts. Um, you know, are they consistent in giving out free information? Are they consistent in helping people out for free? And then once you get to know somebody's free information, then you have a good idea that the quality and the knowledge involved in their paid information is probably even better. And so, uh, you know, and in fact, I had somebody at a conference this weekend tell me the reason why I buy your stuff is because of all the free stuff that you give away. I know it's good. I know it works. It's quality stuff. And I, I really appreciated hearing that. And she's like, so I knew that your paid stuff was would be really good. So number two is quality. Number three is trust. Do you have a trust with the person who is uh, you know, creating that information? You want to trust the person who's teaching it. Uh, again, you want to be able to see that that person is getting results from what they're teaching. A lot of people can teach theory. You want to know that someone's actually doing what they're saying. Like we're full-time FBA and we are making a full-time income with FBA. You can trust that. We make a full-time income on our dis that we pull out of our disbursements from Amazon. Yes, we have this blog, we have eBooks and stuff, and a lot of people have asked me, do you even still sell on Amazon FBA or do you just sell info products? No, our full-time income that pays our bills comes from our Amazon sales. And so, you know, that's something that you can trust. So be sure you Pick people, pick blogs, pick books, courses, conferences that are involved with people who you can trust. So number four in what to think about and what to decide to do next is called FOCUS. Now a lot of you, you know my acronym for FOCUS. Follow one course until successful. This is a game changer. Uh, you know, when you are deciding to, what to do next, 
First off, think, what have I already tried and if I have really followed it all the way through? Maybe you need to go back to the beginning of something you tried before and didn't really follow it all the way through and just follow that course until it's successful and then decide what you want to do next. Or maybe if you don't know what to do at all, you just need to pick one thing and follow it through. Now, there's so many different ideas of how to make money on Amazon, so many different strategies. Let me give you an example. There's two people, person A, person B, or person one and two. Anyway, person A works on retail arbitrage on Monday, online arbitrage on Tuesday, wholesale on Wednesday, private label on Thursday, and does some merch t-shirts on Friday. But person B is learning online arbitrage on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Who is going to find success faster? The person who has focused, the person who has locked in what they want to learn and giving it all they've got, learning as much as they can on one topic. Yes, our brains are wired to see shiny objects and look in that direction. And so, you know, it's called shiny object syndrome. But don't let things distract you from your end game. Our mind even likes, we, we like new things. We like novel things. A lot of times we just assume something new is going to be better or something different is going to be better. But if we follow one course until it's successful, we're going to find success faster. So that's number four. My last thing to look at, if you're like, okay, I, I followed all this, what do I actually decide to do? My biggest tip, follow what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about, if you like start looking into online arbitrage and you're like, this is the coolest thing ever. I get to sit at home on my computer. The inventory comes to me. I ship it out to Amazon. I love online arbitrage. Then, then stick with that. If that's what you get passionate about and excited about, work with that. If you're like, oh, retail arbitrage. I love the treasure hunt. I love going into stores, not knowing if I'm going to find something, coming out with a cart full of stuff. Maybe the next store I have a cart with just a few things. But, you know, I just, I love the hunt, the treasure hunt. Follow what you're passionate about when you're just beginning follow, and follow that until you're successful and then add on the next thing. So when you're trying to decide what to do next, who to listen to, who to learn from, what you need to do next in your Amazon FBA business, follow these five steps and you will find success so much faster than if you are just scattered without a plan. So try that out and I know you'll find success with it. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you scroll down, you could leave a comment, like this video, leave us a question. You can also find all the links that we talked about in this video. You can find that in the description below. And be sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got so many more videos coming up. We don't want you to miss out on anything. And as always, the best place to find all the information of turning part-time hours into a full-time income is the website fulltimefba.com. I'll see you there.